Well, we're going to continue to talk about Father's Day and some alarming statistics out there. We have an expert who calls it the worst social crisis in the country. Fathers not being in the home as children grow up. We're talking to this expert, Roland Warren, of the National Fatherhood in Initiative. He's coming up in just a moment. Disaster in the Gulf, how you can help. A special Larry King Live event, Monday night, 8 Eastern. 20 minutes past the hour now, and on this Father's Day, we're talking about what some call really a crisis in the country. Growing up without a father or without the influence of a father figure, say it's at an all-time high. 2009, U.S. Census statistic found one out of three kids growing up without a father in the home. It's twice as bad in the African-American community. National Fatherhood is Initiative calls it the worst social crisis in the country, and Roland Warren is president of the organization. Joining me now live from Washington, Roland, thank you for being here with us. Um, which direction are we trending? We see how we, we hear the number and it sounds certainly it is a bad number that you want to improve. Right. But are, is that number stable or is that number continuing to get worse? Or have we made some headway? Is it possibly getting better? Well, actually, we, we did make some headway between 2004 and 2008. We actually saw a 5% decline in the number of, of kids who are growing up in father absent homes. But the, the statistic is still a very, very high statistic. It's about 24 million kids who are, who are growing up homes absent their fathers. And as you, as you mentioned, in, in certain communities like the African-American community, it's, it's exceptionally high. And so as we fond of saying, you know, we don't have a fatherless kid to spare, so there's still a lot of work to do. Now, Roland, that 5%, that headway, that little headway you talk about, is yeah. there, was that an anomaly or was there something we can attribute to that improvement? Well, you know, a lot of folks have been working on this issue. Uh, we, we've been working on it since uh, 1994. And if you go to our website, which is fatherhood.org, you, you can find out a lot of stuff that we've been doing, research that's been done around this, public awareness campaigns, which we started with the Ad Council back in 1996. And even the president has been very vocal about this as well and, and did a PSA last Father's Day. So there are a lot of people who are starting to come together and really connecting the dots between uh, some of the most intractable social ills affecting our kids, like low academic performance, crime, uh, poverty, all those things in the presence or an absence of an involved, responsible, and committed father. How do you go about it? You talked about PSAs, you talked about the president getting involved and being active, but how ha have you found is the best way to attack the problem? Well, public awareness is, is important. I mean, this is an issue that for many years just was under the radar screen. I mean, as, as, the, as the nation was starting to see more and more fathers absent from the home, no one was really talking about it until the early 90s. And so starting with the public awareness, that was important. But I think the other thing that's really important is that at the end of the day, it's about guys making decisions to be involved, responsible, and committed fathers. And what our research has shown is that a lot of guys don't have the skills, don't know what to do. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we do a lot of work around skill building. Uh, one of our studies actually found that when we when we surveyed fathers, nearly half the fathers that we surveyed said that they, that they didn't have the skills. And then over half the fathers said they were replaceable. So we have a lot of work to do. And, and at our website, fatherhood.org, that's what, kind of what we do. We try to help guys develop the skills to be good dads. And we're focused very much on this issue. Uh, and, and a tough question here, possibly. And I, I don't know if one's more important than the other. But what I'm kind of asking here is, I guess, which, which, which part of the problem should we be focusing on the most? And I know you all do a little bit of it all, but there's one problem here in that the kids who are in the one-parent homes need the guidance. They need some kind of a mentor. They need some kind of a role model. So that's one thing you need to attack. But at the other time, on the other hand, you need to go after, would you say, just keeping people from having kids out of wetlock in the first place. So I guess, do you, yeah. is there a way to judge which one of those problems you should go after more aggressively? I know you had to do them both, but still, is, right. is there one we should be focused on more so than the other? Well, you know, it's one of those things. You've got to be able to go to your right and your left, like, yeah. like Kobe. I mean, we, we <laughs> have to do both. And I think the other thing which is really important is, you know, we have to make sure that our kids are seeing certain examples because it's difficult to be what you don't see. And so if we don't really model for young boys what it means to be a good father, if we don't model for young girls what it means to have a good father and a good husband involved in your life when you're making that decision about having children, then we'll just continue to kind of pour water through a sieve. And so we, we try to focus on both sides, encouraging dads who are there to be involved, responsible, and committed, having the skills that they need, but also 
uh, encouraging uh, folks not to become fathers if they're not ready and, and, and if they're not married to mom in particular because the research shows overwhelmingly that those dads tend to be more involved, more engaged uh, with their kids over the long haul. So it's a lot of stuff we have to do together and uh, it, honestly it's just one by one is the way that you really get at this problem and this issue. One by one, like you said. Absolutely. Uh, Roland Warren, again, the uh, head of the National Fatherhood Initiative. We appreciate you coming in on this Father's Day. Some important information, important statistics, and again, something you need to always be out there and reminding people of, of what's happening. Roland, thank you so much. Good to see you this morning. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Likewise. Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much.